Aloha, I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD from Out of the Doldrums. Today, we will be talking about light. More specifically, how light can heal you. And that sounds pretty flaky, right? I thought so too. Well, as it turns out, there's actually a lot of really good science out there showing that red and near infrared light therapy or photobiomodulation can reduce inflammation and even help with pain management. So first, I think we need to talk about inflammation. Then we'll get into the science of photobiomodulation. Inflammation is a really important part of the body's immune response, and it can actually be a good thing in the short term. There are two main types of inflammation, acute and chronic. Acute inflammation occurs following intense physical activity, injury, or in the presence of an infection or sudden illness. A good example of this type of inflammation would be soreness after a very rigorous workout or after a really, really long hike. It's characterized by redness, warmth, swelling, pain, and sometimes muscle soreness. Acute inflammation is what enables our bodies to concentrate resources and healing efforts on affected areas. So essentially, acute inflammation is a natural and necessary part of daily life, and it aids in our body's recovery processes. Then there's chronic inflammation. This happens when we don't eliminate the acute inflammation that we just talked about. Another cause of chronic inflammation can be autoimmune reactions, where the immune system mistakenly targets the body's own cells. Chronic inflammation can lead to several diseases, such as heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. It can also lead to accelerated aging, something called inflammaging. So in summary, inflammation is part of the complexity of the immune system's response to harmful stimuli. Despite its role in healing and protection, if inflammation persists for too long, or if it occurs in places where it's not needed, it can become a problem. Let's move on to photobiomodulation. Photobiomodulation, also known as PBM, has many other names. It was previously known as low-level laser therapy and is also known as red light therapy. Photobiomodulation is a therapeutic technique that uses low intensity light sources, including lasers and LEDs that emit a red or near infrared light to stimulate, heal, regenerate, and protect tissue that has either been injured, is degenerating, or at risk of dying. One of the really interesting applications of photobiomodulation is its use in reducing inflammation within the body, which is really important given that inflammation is a root cause or a contributing factor to so many chronic diseases and conditions. Of course, when you reduce inflammation, you also reduce the associated pain. So how does this photobiomodulation work? Let's take a moment here and review the science behind the mechanism. Photobiomodulation, or PBM for short, is like giving your cells a gentle power up using specific wavelengths of light. Imagine using a flashlight, not to see in the dark, but to actually charge your body's battery. This isn't any ordinary light, but specific wavelengths of red and near infrared light that penetrate deep into your tissues. We are talking wavelengths of 625 to 635 nanometers for red light and 810 to 850 nanometers for near infrared light. Each wavelength has a different depth of tissue penetration and red and near infrared are often combined to get maximum effect. So how do these wavelengths of light actually reduce inflammation? Let's dive a little deeper into the science behind it all. On a cellular level, inside each of our cells, we have tiny power plants called mitochondria. These are crucial because they generate the energy our cells need to do, well, everything. From healing a cut to helping you sprint to catch a bus. This energy is in the form of ATP. Mitochondria need fuel to make this energy, and one way they can get an extra boost for this is through PBM. But how does shining a light on your skin help the mitochondria in your cells? Here's where things get really interesting. Within these cellular power plants, there are even tinier components that can catch or absorb this light. These components are known as chromophores. You can think of chromophores like little solar panels inside your cells that catch specific types of light. 
The main hero among all these chromophores when we talk about PBM is something called cytochrome C oxidase, or CCO for short. CCO is a part of the cell's energy making process. When red and near infrared light hits CCO, it's like hitting the turbo boost on a race car. It helps kick the mitochondria into high gear, making more energy for the cell. This doesn't just supercharge the cell for no reason. This boost helps the cell do its job better and more efficiently, whether it's repairing tissue, reducing inflammation, or fighting off an infection. Like we discussed earlier, inflammation is our body's response to injury or infection, but sometimes it can get out of hand and cause pain or other problems. By increasing cellular energy production, PBM can help control the inflammation, making it a powerful tool in managing various health issues, all by simply using the right kind of light. So in essence, the primary mechanism behind the wonders of PBM involves these little light catchers in our cells, turning specific wavelengths of light into a burst of energy that can help reduce inflammation and promote healing. This isn't the only anti-inflammatory mechanism though. When we dive into the world of PBM, we encounter not just the absorption of light by our mitochondria, but also the intriguing role of reactive oxygen species, as well as nitric oxide. These molecules are key players in our body's response to red and near-infrared light therapy. Let's start by reviewing the creation of reactive oxygen species, also known as ROS. In the context of photobiomodulation, when red and near-infrared light is absorbed by the mitochondria in our cells, a fascinating process unfolds. This light energy doesn't just vanish, it kickstarts a series of reactions. One of these is the production of reactive oxygen species, or ROS. Now, you might have heard of ROS in a negative light, often associated with cell damage and aging. However, in the finely tuned environment of PBM, the reactive oxygen species generated here are at controlled levels, which instead of harming, signal our cells to wake up and get to work. It's like a gentle nudge urging our cells to repair, regenerate, and defend themselves. Scientists call this hormetic stress. This controlled production of ROS is crucial for the therapeutic effects of PBM, helping in reducing inflammation and promoting healing. Moving on, let's discuss the release of nitric oxide, or NO. Another fascinating aspect of photobiomodulation is the release of NO within the cells. Nitric oxide is a versatile molecule with a wide range of roles in the body, including vasodilation, which is the widening of the blood vessels. When the mitochondria absorb red and near-infrared light, one of the side effects is the release of NO that was bound within the cells. This sudden freedom for NO allows it to do what it does best, relax and widen the blood vessels. This process increases blood flow, ensuring that more oxygen and nutrients reach the cells, aiding in faster recovery, reducing inflammation, and promoting cellular health. So, with photobiomodulation, we see a controlled and beneficial use of reactive oxygen species and the strategic release of nitric oxide, both of which play a pivotal role in the therapy's anti-inflammatory and healing effects. This interaction demonstrates how light at the right wavelengths can be a powerful tool in promoting health and well-being. The anti-inflammatory action of photobiomodulation therapy has a wide range of applications that can benefit the average person in many aspects of health and wellness. By reducing inflammation, PBM can help manage and alleviate various conditions, improving quality of life. Here's how the anti-inflammatory benefits of PBM apply to everyday situations and health conditions. The first anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for muscle recovery and athletic performance. Photobiomodulation therapy can provide relief for those who are pushing their limits or recovering from muscle injuries. When applied as part of post-exercise recovery routines or in the treatment of muscle injuries, PBM can minimize the muscle soreness that often follows intense workouts or sprains and strains. By reducing inflammation and easing muscle discomfort, PBM accelerates the body's natural healing processes. 
This not only helps in quicker recovery from injuries, ensuring that muscle fibers repair more efficiently, but also aids in flushing out the lactic acid buildup that can contribute to soreness after a rigorous session. As a result, athletes and fitness enthusiasts can experience improved performance with an increased ability to train at higher intensities and with greater frequency. Additionally, the reduction in downtime means that the setbacks from muscle fatigue or injuries become less of a roadblock in achieving fitness goals. In this way, PBM therapy emerges as a critical tool in the athlete's arsenal, fostering resilience and promoting an expedited return to peak physical condition. The second anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for joint disorders and pain. Photobiomodulation therapy is also an effective treatment option for individuals suffering from joint disorders such as arthritis and tendonitis. By utilizing specific wavelengths of red and near-infrared light, PBM directly targets inflammation in the joints, leading to reduced pain and stiffness. This therapy can significantly improve joint mobility, making everyday activities more manageable for those with chronic joint conditions. Additionally, the reduction in pain and increased mobility may decrease the need for pain medications, offering a non-invasive and less pharmacologically dependent approach to managing joint discomfort. PBM is a practical and beneficial option for enhancing the quality of life in people dealing with joint pain and stiffness. The third anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for skin conditions. Photobiomodulation has shown promising results in managing various skin conditions, including psoriasis, acne, eczema, and in enhancing wound healing. It does this by reducing skin inflammation. For conditions like psoriasis and eczema, PBM helps to alleviate the symptoms by calming inflammation and reducing the frequency and severity of flare-ups. In the case of acne, the anti-inflammatory properties of PBM not only reduce the appearance of existing blemishes, but also contribute to preventing new ones from forming. Additionally, PBM accelerates the body's natural healing processes, making it a valuable tool for speeding up the repair of wounds and the reduction of scars. This is a non-invasive, pain-free way to improve skin health and appearance, providing relief and cosmetic improvement for individuals dealing with challenging skin conditions. Photobiomodulation therapy also offers significant benefits in the realm of anti-aging, particularly through its role in collagen production and wrinkle reduction. As we age, the natural production of collagen in our skin decreases, leading to the formation of wrinkles and the loss of skin elasticity. PBM addresses these concerns by stimulating the skin's fibroblasts, the cells responsible for producing collagen. This stimulation not only increases collagen levels, but also improves skin texture and firmness, leading to a more youthful appearance. Furthermore, the increased collagen helps to fill in fine lines and wrinkles, making them less visible. The process is entirely non-invasive, making PBM an appealing alternative to more invasive cosmetic procedures. By enhancing the skin's natural rejuvenation processes, PBM provides a way to gracefully combat the signs of aging, offering a healthier, more radiant complexion. The fourth anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for oral health. Photobiomodulation therapy is gaining traction as an innovative approach to improving oral health, particularly in the context of post-dental procedures and the management of gum disease. The therapy's ability to reduce inflammation and alleviate pain is particularly beneficial in the sensitive environment of the mouth. For patients undergoing dental procedures, PBM can significantly enhance the healing process, reducing discomfort and swelling more rapidly than traditional recovery methods alone. Additionally, in cases of gum disease where inflammation is a key concern, PBM therapy can help to soothe symptoms, promoting healthier gums. The anti-inflammatory effects combined with the potential to speed up tissue repair also contribute to a reduced risk of infection, making PBM a valuable treatment in dental care. By offering a non-invasive option to support oral health recovery and maintenance, PBM therapy presents a promising avenue for patients looking for effective dental health solutions. The fifth anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for neurological conditions. 
the potential of photobiomodulation therapy extends into the domain of neurological conditions, offering new hope for individuals seeking to improve brain health, cognitive function, and mood stability. Emerging research highlights PBM's ability to reduce inflammation in the brain, a common feature in a range of neurological disorders. This anti-inflammatory effect may play a crucial role in managing conditions such as depression and Alzheimer's disease, where inflammation significantly impacts disease progression and symptom severity. By promoting a healthier brain environment, PBM has the potential to improve cognitive function and offer a non-invasive treatment alternative for mood disorders. The therapy's ability to penetrate deep into the brain tissue and stimulate cellular repair and regeneration could pave the way for breakthroughs in neurology, offering patients improved quality of life and functional outcomes. The sixth anti-inflammatory benefit of photobiomodulation is for chronic inflammation and autoimmune diseases. Photobiomodulation therapy is increasingly recognized for its potential in addressing chronic inflammation and autoimmune diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel disease. The core mechanism of PBM in these applications involves its anti-inflammatory effects, which happens through the modulation of various cellular and molecular pathways. Specifically, PBM has been shown to influence the activity of cytokines, which are proteins that play critical roles in controlling the inflammatory response. By reducing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and enhancing the release of anti-inflammatory cytokines, PBM can help in diminishing systemic inflammation characteristic of autoimmune disease. This reduction in inflammation can lead to a decrease in the symptoms associated with these conditions, potentially improving patient outcomes and quality of life. The ability of PBM to offer a non-pharmacological, non-invasive option for managing chronic inflammation provides a complementary approach to conventional therapies with potential fewer side effects. So how can you personally experience the benefits of photobiomodulation? There are specialized medical facilities you can go to, or you can even get a unit for your own home, thanks to the broad availability of devices designed for professional and personal use. The treatment involves the application of red and near-infrared light, which must be delivered at the right wavelength, right intensity, and the right duration to target areas. This is a critical factor that influences the therapeutic outcome. For those opting for home use devices, choosing FDA cleared options with known wavelengths and irradiances and adhering strictly to the manufacturer's guidelines is essential. The significance of using the correct wavelengths and irradiance for each condition cannot be overstated, as this precision directly impacts the therapy's ability ability to modulate biological processes effectively. Regular and consistent application amplifies PBM's benefits as part of an integrated treatment regimen. So, is photobiomodulation safe? According to the current science, yes. PBM is widely regarded as a safe treatment option with minimal side effects, especially when compared to more invasive therapies and certain pharmaceutical interventions. The safety of PBM stems from its non-invasive nature and the use of low-level lasers or LED lights, which do not have the thermal damage potential of higher power lasers. While PBM is generally safe for use on various parts of the body, it's crucial to avoid direct exposure to the eyes, as this could pose a risk of damage. Also, it's not recommended to apply PBM devices to areas with tattoos. This is because the ink in the tattoos can absorb the light and lead to excessive heating, which in severe cases can lead to thermal injury like burns or scars. So if you have tattoos, you can still get the benefit of PBM. Just be sure to apply in areas that are tattoo free. Lastly, individuals with certain conditions like photosensitivity disorders or those who are pregnant should consult a healthcare professional before beginning treatment. In summary, photobiomodulation represents a promising, non-invasive therapy for managing inflammation across a wide range of conditions, leveraging the body's natural healing mechanisms. Its ability to reduce inflammation, enhance tissue repair, and alleviate pain without significant side effects makes it an attractive option in the field of regenerative medicine and beyond. 
Okay, so as we wrap up our exploration into the world of photobiomodulation and its incredible benefits on inflammation and pain, I wanna share something personal with you. I've been researching PBM for quite a while and I came across this company that I was really interested in called Flexbeam. I reached out to the company for more information and was able to meet with one of the co-founders. They sent me a device to trial and I have to say, I'm very impressed. My husband and I have both been using the device for the past month and I've really noticed a difference. My husband has been using it for reducing muscle pain after workouts and alleviating joint pain and he's really noticed an improvement. I like to use it in the evenings before I go to sleep. It really helps me relax and it sets the stage for falling asleep quickly and having a great night of sleep. With all the photobiomodulation products out there, why Flexbeam, you might ask? There's so many to choose from and they're all a little bit different. Well, it comes down to their commitment to quality and effectiveness in the realm of red light therapy. Oh, and Flexbeam didn't pay me to say any of this, by the way. Flexbeam's been thoughtfully engineered to harness the power of specific wavelengths of light, 625 to 635 nanometers for red light and 810 to 850 nanometers for near infrared light. These aren't just random numbers, they're specific wavelengths that are backed by research to ensure that the light you are getting penetrates your tissues at just the right depth for optimal results. And let's talk about power. Within a radiance of 127 milliwatts per centimeter squared for near infrared and 60 milliwatts per centimeter squared for red light, Flexbeam packs a potent punch where it really counts. This power is comparable to much larger panels on the market, but the Flexbeam is small and really portable. One of the best features that sets Flexbeam apart is that it's battery operated, meaning I can use it wherever and whenever I need it without being tethered by a power outlet. The battery is rechargeable, so we just plug it in to recharge. And one charge is good for at least six 10 minute sessions. Plus, with three different settings, I can customize my treatment to match my specific needs, whether I'm targeting deep tissue for muscle recovery or focusing on skin rejuvenation. I totally understand that stepping in the world of photobiomodulation is a huge investment in your health. And I believe that investment should be as informed and affordable as possible. Now you all know, I wouldn't share something with you that we didn't believe in or use ourselves. We love Flexbeam. It's become a key part of our wellness routine and I'm genuinely excited for you to experience its benefits too. The link is in the description below. All right, it's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this overview video on photobiomodulation, inflammation, and pain. Are you convinced? Are you gonna try it? If so, how and with what device? Please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. Until next time, cherish your health and aloha.